Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we're going to be telling you about our Crested Gecko, his Crested Gecko, Walter. So, their diet, they have this type of stuff. It's Pangea mix. It's watermelon. We, we did, we picked that because it was just easier to buy and it comes in big packs so you, like, you just have it. And then it's one table, like one teaspoon, and uh, two teaspoons of water, and then you mix it up with like a toothpick or a, a fork or something to mix it up, and then he should be good. And I got him probably like three months ago. And he's been so doing he's, good. And he's not that big, but he's decently big. And you also need to spray his cage with water. How many times a day? At least three. At least three times a day. Spray the walls. Spray him. Spray, spray the ground. Around his stuff. Spray the ground. And we'll be showing you what his cage looks like, so you can get a little bit off of that. Just my room's a little messy, so yeah. Sway. We don't have a bioactive aquarium yet for him. Terrarium. Terrarium. So we're going to switch to bioactive soon, but we haven't got the opportunity recently. So we just have that. We have some fake plants you can just buy at the pet store, I guess. Um, most of the stuff we got from the pet store, just I wouldn't recommend getting the, the feeding bowl we have because it gets stuck. Uh, yeah, just if you do, just get like plastic cups or something to put inside get pangea cups like um i'll be right back i have cups or something no keep it on keep it on so my brother is getting the pangea cups right now so it's important that you take care of your crested gecko well so you make sure you want to feed them every other day i'm pretty sure my brother can correct me if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure every other yes, day every other day you want to feed them so he is back and he has a just like a just a little like cardboard cup it should be good for them they eat you can like sit it kind of close to their face and they'll come like right up to it and eat it he is a male i had to do a lot of research to find out what he is he had a little bulb on his tail which signifies a male i think so if it, if i am wrong Please tell me. Okay? He is <laughs> Um so we're hoping to get a female to, to breed, breed them. Crested geckos. Because I I don't know, but I'm pretty sure they only need to breed in room temperature, so like to mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's all we're gonna do for right now. I hope to get like one or two eggs. And they're fertile. That We're hoping nice. to get eggs if we when we get our female. Yeah. So stay tuned if you really if you want to watch Cresta Gecko Babies. That'll be later on our channel. Yeah, so that won't be for like a, probably another year or two. The only snakes we will be breeding is garter snakes. Maybe you don't Maybe. even know. And we're gonna save up for money right now. Like our parents, they don't make a, they don't buy anything for us. We have to actually save up our money, and we're saving up for a couple of green anoles and a couple of American green tree frogs or whatever you call them, gray tree frogs. Um, hopefully to get some. And we have like a forty, right? Thirty, forty gallon. Yeah, forty gallon tank that we can, we'll put them in. We have a lid and everything. Keep their humidity level high enough we still have to do a lot of research for that yes but on our channel we won't breed we won't be breeding snakes and putting them in snake eggs we won't be putting them in incubators because that'll be farther in our channel so like when we're probably a little bit older like a little bit bigger and older so you may stay tuned for that but that'll be in years or so and if you watched my video or video and liked it Thank you so much. Our first video it really helps us yeah. out and I it makes our day. Yeah. Um, you wanna hold him? Yes. So 
Um, I, if, I don't know what, like, because I don't know if he's a hypo or not, whatever. I still have to try to figure that out. Because, I mean, we didn't know this at the time. I got him from a PetSmart. Never buy things from PetSmart. It, don't. They, they suck. Always buy from a local breeder. We have we had no idea. We didn't watch any channels or anything. Yeah, so. we just kind of like watched videos, and they didn't really say anything about it. Um, so we did not have any idea. Yeah, they they licked their eyes because they don't have eyelids. What type of what type of experience are they again? Experience. Yeah. Like, like oh, fancy. they're they're probably beginner he is. because. They're probably a beginner because uh, they, well, they're easier to take care of. You spray their cage th three to four times a day, and you feed them the Pangea mix. Hold them if you want to. They are jumpy, so, like, they'll jump. Like, when I first got him, he was not chill. He was jumping everywhere. I got mad and stuff. He jumped onto my wall one time. He was just crazy. Um, yeah, I think that's where we're going to stop right now. So, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. And yes, we are posting later because, well, I had a football game and we just can't post right then and there. We won't be, I won't be able to post, I might be able to post tomorrow at like 3 or 4. But that's it. So we'll probably do our snakes tomorrow. I won't be able to be we. I won't be able to post tomorrow because I'm spending it at a friend's house. So I'll probably be posting. It. I'll just show my snake and then show show her snake at one point. later. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching our video. And here's a close up of our baby. <laughs> if you can see the bulb on his tail, you kind of can see it. Like, right there. It's tough. Okay, bye. Bye.